extra help for shadowed. Shadow's a very fun piece because we get to play so many eighth notes, t t t t t t t t ta, and it goes like this. But we can make a little exercise out of that little passage to get good at playing those fingers. You start with your thumb, finger two crosses over for one note, the thumb has to play again, then finger two plays, and finger three, two, three, four, five. So if we make this just a practice passage and we take away all the black notes, so they're all the white keys, we would play one, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. We can move our hand up a step and play that same passage. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. We can move up a step. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. Up a step. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. Up a step. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. And you're going to find as you do this, you're going to find that it's easier to play. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. And now we're back at C again. So we can do the same thing with the left hand. He can play one, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. He plays exactly the same finger numbers as the left hand. Making sure your fingers stay nice and curvy. If your hand is tall, you don't need to move your arm to get that cross. The other part of the song that's just a little tricky is on the second page when we're playing. So we're starting on a G. We go a half step higher with finger three. Back to the G with your thumb, down a half step with finger three, F sharp, and back to your thumb. In chromatic scale, which is playing every single note, you always use your thumb and finger three until you get where there's no black key. That's where finger two gets to play. That's why they want you to use a finger three in that passage. And then when the right hand plays, it also is playing with the thumb. Because just like the left hand, when you're playing chromatic scale, finger two only plays when there's no black key between the notes. Otherwise, it's always three and one. Okay. So those are the fun things about this song. The other thing that's interesting in Shadowed is this mirror. And how the fingers play exactly the same pattern. So you could practice, go up a step. Up a step. Up a step. Imagine how strong your fingers will be, keeping them nice and curvy and tall so that your finger two can cross over and get back without your arms moving like that. Lots of students, if they play with flat fingers, have to use their arms, but we want our fingers to stand tall so finger two can do all the work by itself. So have fun. 
getting those strong fingers with the shadowed song.